In this part, we will discuss the bones of the hind limb. Our hind limbs have this one that is thigh bone, which is femur, then tibia and fibula, and this is the foot part. Now, if we talk about the femur, which is also known as thigh bone, this is the longest bone of our body and it is divided into three parts. There is a head region, a shaft region and there are condyles where the tibia and fibula are going to articulate. The head fits into the acetabulum. In the pelvic girdle, there is a cavity, there is a depression and that depression is known as acetabulum. In that depression, the head fits. Now, if you look at the bone, the head is at right angle to the shaft and the acetabulum is a depression like this. And here the femur has a uh, head which is like this and this is how the head fits into the acetabulum. That's why it is slightly angular. So here we can write it fits in acetabulum. That is the cavity or the depression which is in the hip girdle or the pelvic girdle. The shaft is a long strong bone and the other end of femur there are condyles and in between the condyle there is a depression which is known as intercondylar fossa and here the kneecap or patella fits in. So there are two condyles which are like this, two bulges and in between there is a depression. So patella fits in here. Patella is a small flat bone and it fits into this. So this fossa is actually for that patella fixation. Then tibia and fibula, in this part there are uh, two bones. Tibia is a wider bone, it is also thin but if we compare the two, tibia is thicker and fibula is the thinnest bone. So these two bones are there. This upper end, this is the place where these condyles and the patella articulate. Here also there is a fossa that is for articulation of the femur. The other end has little extension of the fibula bone. Fibula is a feeble bone, a thin bone. So there is an extension and this is the one which actually fits into the foot region. The foot is divided into three parts again, ankle, sole and toes. In ankle region, there are small bones and these bones are known as tarsals. In case of hand, the bones which are in the wrist region, they are known as scarpals. Here, the ankle region, the bones are known as tarsals. And these bones, they are arranged in three rows. The rows, this is considered as the first row. So there are two bones, this one and this one. The bone which is at the end that is known as calcaneum and that is the heel bone. So this is row number one. Second row has only one bone and the third row has one, two, three and four bones. So in all there are four plus one, five, six and seven tarsals. So these seven tarsals they make the ankle part. The sole part is made up of again little longish bone which are known as metatarsals and they are five in number. One, two, three, four and five. So five metatarsals and in the toe region are present the phalanges which are the digits of our hand. And as we wrote phalangeal formula for hand, here also we have a phalangeal formula. This is the thumb part or toe part here this is there are two in this there are three 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 and three so here also the for, uh, phalangeal formula is same two three 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 and three so three parts of the foot region ankle which is made up of tarsals then sole metatarsal and phalanges phalangeal formula remains the same so, and this is the last or the single bone which is there in one hind limb, that is patella. It is a sesamoid bone and it is a flat plate-like thing which is normally known as kneecap. This fits into two bones. If I draw this part here or let me draw the condyle part here. So, these are the condyles of the fibula. 
the patella is going to fit like this patella the kneecap it fits between these two bones and because of which the knee joint is a hinge joint that we will see later so this is patella which is a sesamoid flat bone if we count the number of bones we'll come count from this part so this is 3 and 3 six. this is our phalangeal formula so we count 3 and 3 6 9 12 13 14 then 5 15 16 17 18 19 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 and patella 30 so in our hind limb there are 30 bones two hind limbs 30 each two fore limbs 30 each so this is how the number of bones are there in the appendicular skeleton so appendicular skeleton comprises of shoulder girdles that is pectoral and fore limbs and pelvic girdle and hind limbs so after this using the model of human skeleton, we will study all the bones of the appendicular skeleton.